in this video we are going to take a look at the few tools of this in out configuration so the first tool that we are going to look at is the directory tool so the directory tool is used to return a list of all the files that are present in the specified directory it returns the file name and other information about each file uh, like its size the date it was created the last modified date and many more information okay so let's see how do we use it uh, first of all grab the directory tool from the in out tab into your workflow workspace then what you need to do is in this configuration tab you have to specify the directory or the folder from where you want to get the files okay so in my case i have already specified the folder that is this files folder in the altrix click on okay now if you want specific files to be there only then you can specify the files otherwise uh, this asterisk is over here that means uh, any of the files any of the file names dot any of the file extensions would be taken if you want to um, include the subdirectories like if you want to search for the specified file types in directories that are specified within the specified directory then this box um, is checked otherwise leave it unchecked okay it's only for the specific files but we are going for the generic ones so no need to include the subdirectories let's just click on run so what would happen is uh, you would get this kind of an output that is the list of all of these uh, files that are present in this directory the full path the directory the name of the file along with its extension the uh, creation time the time when it was last accessed last written the size and some of the attributes like it is it encrypted is it compressed is it archived is it hidden is it normal uh, is it offline is it read only uh, and so on so these are all the fields that we would be getting so this is for the generic files let us now search for the specific files okay so we are going with the extension as you can see yxmd files are present over here so instead of all the files yxmd files are the only ones that i am interested in right now and in the subdirectories as well then click on run so what i would be getting is only the yxmd files so there are a total of seven yxmd files in the subdirectories and the directory of this particular folder so this is what i am getting through the uh, directory tool right let's just click ctrl s to save it next tool that we have is the date time tool so uh, as we have discussed about the date time already uh, in the data types video in altrix so this date time now tool is used to return a single record that is the date or the time at the time when the workflow was run and uh, you can just convert the value into the string format of your choosing so basically this is useful that once you are creating any report and you want to show the date or the time of its creation then you can use this particular tool okay so let's just bring in this tool this is the date time now tool over here it requires us to specify two things the language in which we want the date and time and the format in which we want that is the output format so let's just get the uh, format like this where i'm getting the date as well as the time now click on run or use the shortcut control r so we would be getting a column with today's date and the time at which this was run okay now in case you decide to change the language right now i have taken english but let me just go with spanish okay click on ok and now what we are getting is the same output but to get a different output let's just choose a different format like this click on run and now what we are getting is a different format like the month name is in spanish right now so this is what we are getting this is the usage of the um, date time now tool let's just press ctrl s to save it and move on to the next tool which is the text input tool now what is the usage of this text input tool uh, it is used to manually enter the text to create small data files for input uh, it can be useful in um, like testing and creating the lookup tables while we are building the workflow the data input from the text input tool saves within the workflow so you can share the workflow without having to provide an input file okay so let's see how do we work with it uh, first of all let's just get this input data that is this text input tool 
over here now once we have got it over here we would be getting these different options like this is the option to import if you want to import any of the files but treat it as the input that has been manually taken into the workflow so when we share the workflow the file gets shared as well we do not have to externally share the file right then we have the copy once we have entered the values if you want to copy it if you have already copied the values from somewhere and just want to paste it over here that's um, the paste option you can use the delete and the insert options are there as well so delete is to delete any of the data that's existing and insert to insert the columns so let's just insert a row first of all so this is the row that's been inserted if you just double click over here you can start adding the values so what i'm going to add is name let's say samir then i'm going to add a value let's say 12 and then i'm going to add a city let's say delhi okay so this is my first value that i have entered right similarly i can add another value let's say a name a value and a city so mumbai okay so this is how i can keep on adding the records manually uh, these are the field names right now taken as field 1, field 2 and field 3 but if you want you can change them as well by double clicking on them. So the first field name is going to be name, the second one is going to be age and the third one is going to be city. Okay. So this is the record that I have got. If I just click on run then what would be I getting is this uh, whole record in the form of a table like this. Now let's just see how the import function works. So let's just click on import. This is the sheet excel sheet that i want to import this is the one that we just exported uh in the form of an excel file so the consumer one is what i'm going to import so uh, ten thousand is the cell limit for this tool so that's why the whole sheet was not imported but i'm happy with it let's just click on run now once we do that this whole table is actually a part of this tool this input uh, tool okay a text input tool now this means there is no external file being associated with this if you just delete the excel file then also there would be no change in altrix because altrix has created a copy using the text input tool of this particular data set right so this is uh, the importance of the text input tool over the normal input data tool that we were using up till now but there is an added disadvantage as well because uh, in this case altrix create another memory of itself to store this data so there would be an additional memory requirement so it depends upon you and the requirement of the particular workflow that whether you want to use the text input tool or the input data tool okay now let's uh, save it yeah in case you want to delete it suppose i just don't want this order id column so delete the columns so you can just select the column and delete it if you want to select uh, delete a particular row like i want to delete this row number six delete row so the row number six has been deleted okay so this is how the things work in the text input tool you can actually make changes into the data set as well without affecting the original excel file uh, you can copy it and if i just open up my notepad i would be able to paste it as well like six was selected so six was been copied if you want to select multiple records like this and copy them then go to notepad and paste them so you would be able to create a copy for them uh, for yourself as well okay let's just remove it right now so that's about the text input tool that you need to know now let us talk about the map input tool which is uh, the final tool in this particular group so what is the map input tool as you can uh, see the name itself is suggesting it is used to draw or select the desired map object to use as an input in a workflow you can either draw or select a point line or polygon to form a map that displays a reference base map okay so let's just get this tool map input tool over here and as soon as we get there uh, there would be a map you can just select the base map right now it's selected to none let's just select ultra x dark so it'd be getting a map you can hover over it uh, to just you know load any of the countries or the continents that you like so i'm just going to go all the way to india using the zoom buttons you can zoom in or zoom out and get a location let's say kanpur and here i want to point to kanpur so uh, right now as you can see the mode has been set to draw so i can draw anything 
so we can just get a point to draw it on kanpur over here and if you want to provide it a name so let me just provide it a name as home click on save and that's it you can click on run to run the workflow so what will it do is it will create this kind of a value for you the label is home and the special object is point view browse tool map tab so the special object has been created using the map input tool that's all for this video that's all about the in out tools that you need to know in altrix thanks for watching